Hi there, it's Martin Gila from GilaForex.com and in this video I just want to show you exactly how I'm uh, trading in some of the platforms or one of the platforms that I use. I had uh, several questions from some of my subscribers as far as uh, what strategies and tactics I'm using in some of my trades. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. This one here is one I call the hedge and hold. Basically what we do is we buy and sell at pretty much the same point on the chart and then you hold the trades that are not instantly successful. So instead of using a stop loss, you just simply hold the trade. Now the way that you uh, actually execute the trade is to take a look at where you are on the chart. Right now uh, we're on the Euro USD and in here you can see that it's fairly flat. It's kind of flattened out for the day. But at the beginning of the day it's actually it's been on a, a very steady uh, steady decline which was actually very good for us um, because there were a lot of sales or a lot of sell uh, uh, trades listed on here so what happened is as the uh, the charts move down it triggers all the cells and that's where we uh, we end up profiting so I'm just going to show you how we go about making this trade so Realistically, if I wasn't doing this video, I probably wouldn't go ahead and place a trade right now, uh, just simply because the market is very flat. But just so for uh, uh, example, so that I can show you exactly how we do it, here's how we place the trade. We just instantly uh, click the sell, right after click the buy, and then you can see you've got two, two trades instantly right there. Now what you want to do is scroll down so that you go to your sell. And I generally uh, take a profit at 100 pips, somewhere around 100 pips. So the cell, we're going to right click, we're going to modify, and for the cell, we're going to come in at about 1.35395. That will at least give us a decent place to have the take profit. And that's a take profit of 131 pips, but I want to tighten it up a little bit so that I can take advantage of very slight market movements. There we go. Now we're sitting at 108 pips, going to give us a profit of $2.16. We're going to do the exact same thing on a buy. We're going to go modify, and on the buy, we're going to go 1.35750. Just to be able to get us a line, and then we're going to pull that back so that we're very tight. So we'll leave that about 114 pips gives us two dollars and 28 cents. Now it's very, very, uh, very small amounts of money on this account, simply because we're trading. If you take a look at here, we're trading 0 0.02 of a lot, so we're not trading very much, but. The reason I'm I'm very excited about this, this account is live, it's a live account, but I started off with $400. So if we look down here at our balance, we've got a balance sitting there of $980. Now this is a, a bit of a strategy where it's you look at it as an investment. Um, it's not so much a, a really super profitable uh, account at this point simply because uh, we're not trading large amounts of money. But if you look at it, since uh, November of last year, sorry, October of last year, uh, this account has moved from $400 up to $980. So it's October, uh, November, December, January. So in a period of four months, I've uh, doubled that account. So from an investment standpoint, that's, that's very, very profitable. If you take a look at it, and of course you're not going to be uh, super impressed with the numbers, but if you look at it from the standpoint of this is an experimental account, we're giving it a try, see how this uh, this strategy works. And once we find that, okay, this is working really well and where are the uh, kind of the, the bugs in the system, we work them out and then we can roll this out into a much larger account. So if you said, for example, maybe we did uh, $10,000. So if we start, let's back it up. Let's say we started off with $4,000 we'd now be looking at almost $10,000. With that size of account, you could be trading full lots, and this system should work uh, fairly, fairly well for you. Now, the, 
the the downfall of doing this system or using the system is you are going to have open trades. So if you see here, you've got $193 worth of open trades. Take a look at here. It's reflected here in the equity. So we have $980 is the entire balance of the account minus 193, which are open trades. So it gives you an actual real equity of $786. Now that's, that equity in the account obviously changes whenever this number over here on the right changes. And this number on the right is going to change depending on where you've got your, your trades placed and where the market is sitting. So for example, whenever the market was up here a little bit earlier you know, yesterday, this number here, oops, this number here was sitting at almost uh, $300. It was a high $200. So the reason for that is we have very few buy trades listed in here. If we pull back and look at the four hour, maybe further, okay, there we go. In the day, we take a look at from the day, you can see what the whole market is look, it looks like and how many trades we actually have that are open. So this is the area where we have that we're trading in right now. These are the open trades that we have sitting there. Now these back here, October, November, this is the area where we ended up placing. We started placing these trades and these are the hedge trades. So you place a buy and a sell and the in this area here on this upward momentum, we were, we were doing well with the sells, but not so much with the buys. So the buys are still there and these buys will stay there until the market goes back, uh, back down and then it's going to click on the, the buys. So there is some risk to the uh, to this system of trading as well. Obviously, within the forex market, there is no 100% guarantee. There's no uh, there's no way to to know whether you're going to 100% win or or lose your trades. But this is one of the uh, profitable strategies that we've been playing with, simply because we want to be able to see if we can show uh, people who are new to forex trading a very very simple way to to start out trading without having to learn all the uh, the chart strategies, the chart patterns, and and learning how to read uh, to read the candlesticks. So it's basically still in experimental mode. Uh, very happy with the progress that we've made. Uh, within four months, we have over doubled our account uh, our account balance. So that part's very good. The only downfall that we're experiencing uh, right now is you are going to have open trades that uh, that add up fairly quickly depending on which way the market is going. So that's one of the strategies that we're using. You can see those are all the open trades. I'll just show you what we got. Those are all the open trades and if you go back to the top you can see that some of the trades, the earliest trades are back from uh, November 8th, 2013. Right now is January 2014. So you can see you're going to be holding some some trades. You're going to be holding some open trades, so you do need to uh, to evaluate your uh, your risk and uh, your availability of risk. Now, when this was $400, when this balance was $400, we were not trading this many trades. We trade maybe three or four trades uh, in the to have three or four trades open and uh, and leave it at that because you you can't risk too too much here. We are also trading at 0.01 of a a lot so that's the other the other area that we're we began small began very very small and increased uh, increased our um, our trading size as well as the number of trades as we progressed and uh, and had a little bit more balance to play with so this is a this is a strategy that is definitely not going to make you rich quickly but if you look at it from an investment standpoint it's still way 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 outperforming uh, any of the investments that you're looking at as far as uh, as banks or mutual funds or, or anything that way. So still more risk, way more risk than uh, than some of the other areas, but doing very, very well. And uh, we're very pleased with the progress so far uh, on that. So use the information as you see fit and uh, good luck with all of your trades.